Hello everyone and welcome back to Magic the Gathering Revival. I'm your host Matt and it is Friday so we're gonna open up some more standard. Last week we opened up a corset bundle. This week we're gonna open up a Dominaria bundle. Let's get it open and see what we got inside. All right. We have our land pack, of course. Nothing special. We'll put that to the side. And our packs. Our reference guide. Throwing packs all over the place here. And we got our spin down, a red spin down this time. Alright, let's move some of this stuff out of the way so we can get into these packs. How's everybody doing on this wonderful Friday? I am doing fantastic. Cannot wait to get back to this coming Monday though so we can get back to our Master Series. We get some pretty good pulls I feel so far and we can get some more good ones hopefully. All right, we have a get to Chronicler. Benelish Honor Guard. Artificer's Assistant. You know what? I think we should just probably get ourselves to the uncommon slot. All right. We have an Urza's Tome. Two to cast. Pay three and tap. Draw a card. Then discard a card unless you exile a historic card from your graveyard. Alright, we have a Warcry Phoenix. 3 and 1 red for a 2-2 two, two flying in haste. Whenever you attack with 3 or more creatures, you may pay 3. If you do, return Warcry Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attacking. Alright, we have a Jahora's Familiar. 4 to cast a 2-2 two, two with flying. Historic spells you cast... Cost one less to cast. And our rare is a Mythic, a Varix Bladewing. Two and two red. First pack Mythic for a 4-4 four, four Flyer with Kicker for three. When Varix Bladewing enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create Kyrix Bladewing, a legendary 4-4 four, four Red Dragon creature token with flying. All right. So we got ourselves a Mythic. Right out the gate, a Swamp and a Cleric token. Alright, pack number two. Not, maybe not the Mythic we were looking for, but a Mythic nonetheless. Alright. We have a Knight of Grace. One and one white for a 2-2 two -two with first strike. Hexproof from black. Knight of Grace gets a plus one plus zero as long as any player controls a black permanent. We have a Sorcerer's Wand. One to cast. Equip creature has tap this creature deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. If this creature is a wizard, it deals two damage to that player or planeswalker instead. Equip for three. And we have Weight of Memory, 3 and 2 blue, draw 3 cards, target player puts the top 3 cards of their library into their graveyard. And our rare is Squee the Immortal, 1 and 2 red for a 2-1, you may cast Squee the Immortal from your graveyard or from exile. Another Squee to add to my goblin deck. Alright, we have an island, and a sapling token. All right, oh, it's looking good for red so far. <laughs> we got a squee and a Varix. Let's keep on going. All right, we have a Goblin War Chief. One and two red for a two two. Goblin spells you cast cost one less to cast. Goblins you control have haste. Curator's Ward. Two and one blue. Enchant permanent. Enchanted permanent has hexproof. When enchanted permanent leaves the battlefield, if it was his historic, 
Draw two cards. And our rare is a Verdant Force. Five and three green for a seven seven. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a one one green sapperling creature token. And I believe that means we got a foil. We did. We got a foil rare. All right. Marwin the Nurturer. Two and one green for a one one elf druid. Whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Marwin the Nurturer. Add an amount of green mana equal to Marwyn's power if you tap her. Alright. We got ourselves a foil rare in our box. And we got a Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive. A Plains and a Soldier Token. Alright, to our next pack. Not, not a bad bundle so far. We got a Mythic. And we got a foil rare as well. All right, we have a memorial to unity. Thorn Elemental, five and two green for a seven seven. You may have Thorn Elemental assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. And we have a Sanctum Spirit, three and one white for a three two with life link. Discard a historic card. Sanctum Spirit gains indestructible until end of turn. And our rare is an Ariel Knight of Wind Grace. A 4-4 Human Knight with Vigilance. Pay 2 in 1 white and tap. Create a 2-2 two, two white knight creature token with Vigilance. Or pay 1 black and tap and tap X untap knights you control. Destroy target creature with power X or less. We have a Forest and a Sapperling. Alright. We have... Two, four, five, six packs to go in our bundle. And then we pull one of the Planeswalkers. That would be awesome. That would make this bundle a amazing bundle. Because this bundle's already doing not doing so bad. It looks like we got another foil back there. We're gonna try to keep it hidden. So we can keep the suspense going. Alright, we have a Chainer's Torment. Three and one black for an enchantment saga. First and second step, Chainer's Torment deals two damage to each opponent and you gain two life. And third step, create an XX black nightmare horror creature token where X is half your life total. Round it up. It deals X damage to you. And our second uncommon is another saga, the Triumph of Gerard. One and one white. First and second step, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control with the greatest power. And third step, target creature you control with the greatest power gains flying first strike and lifelink until end of turn. Alright, and our third uncommon is on Sarah's wings. Three and one white. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature is legendary. It gets a plus one plus one and has flying vigilance and lifelink. And our rare... A rare? I guess if it's a common, it's in front of the rare? A fire elemental foil. And our rare is a non-foil Marwin the Nurturer. Alright. This would be a great... This would be great to build a deck out of. I mean, we got, got a lot of stuff going together here. We got two Marwin the Nurturers, one foil. Alright, a mountain and a sapperling. Alright. Let's keep on rolling here. Alright, we have a Spore Swarm. Three and one green. Create three one one green sapling creature tokens. We have a Final Parting. Three and two black. To search your library for two cards and put one into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Then shuffle your library. And our rare is a Precognition Field. Three and one blue. You may look at the top card of your library. You may cast the top, the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery card. Pay three, exile the top card of your library. And we have Adeliz the Cinderwind. 
a swamp, and an elemental token. All right, we're down to our final four packs. What do you guys think so far? Would you be happy with this bundle? I'm pretty stoked. I think it's a pretty decent bundle. All right, we have an untamed Kavu. One and one green for a 2-2. Two, two. Kicker for three. Vigilance and Trample. If untamed Kavu is kicked, it enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. We have a settle the score. Two and two black. Exile target creature. Put two loyalty counters on a planeswalker you control. And our rare is a Helm of the Host. Four to cast at the beginning of combat on your turn. Create a token that's a copy of equipped creature. Except the token isn't legendary. If equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste. Equip for five. And we have a Quendi Pride Ephemerif. A three and one white for a two two with double strike. And creatures you control have first strike. Oh, creatures you control with first strike have double strike. All right, we have an island and a night token. All right. To our uncommons, we have an icy manipulator. Four to cast one, pay one and tap target. Tap target artifact, creature, or land. We have a Howling Golem. Three to cast for a 2-3. Whenever Howling Golem attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. And our rare is the Mirari Conjecture. Four and one blue. For a Enchantment Saga. First step, return target instant card from your graveyard to your hand. Second step, return target sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. And the third step, until end of turn, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. And we have a Tatiova Benthic Druid. Three, one green and one blue for a 3-3. Three, three. And whenever a land enters the battlefield, you gain one life and draw a card. We have a Plains and a Sapperling. Down to our last two packs. Can we get one of the Planeswalkers? I don't know. We've already gotten a Foil Rare and a Mythic. I'm not sure it's going to happen, guys. But let's keep on going. We got two packs to go here. All right. We have a Memorial to Genius. A Zalfarin Void. And our rare is a Thran Temporal Gateway. Four to cast. And you can pay four and tap. You may put in a historic permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. And we have a Velduk Keeper of the Flame. Two and one red for a 3-2. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, for each aura and equipment attached, create a 3-1 red elemental creature token with trample and haste. And then you exile them at the beginning of your next step. We have a forest and a sapperling. All right. Our last pack here. Last pack of the bundle. Will it do something good for us, or have we already gotten all the good stuff out of the bundle? We have a Triumph of Gerard again. A one, pay one and one white for a Saga Enchantment. The Flame of Kells. One and one red for a Saga Enchantment. One. First step, discard your hand. Second step, draw two cards. And the third step, if a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player this turn, it deals that much damage plus two to that permanent or player instead. And our rare is a dual land. We got a woodland cemetery. You can tap to add one black or one green. All right. Not a bad way to end our box here. And we got a Garner the Blood Flame. A mountain and a soldier. I think our pull for the day would have to be our foil Marwin the Nurturer. Alright guys, that'll do it. We'll see you again next Friday for more standard. And catch us on Monday for our 
next episode of our, our Iconic Masters Mondays. All right, guys. Have a good one.